A Tunda irrigation project is part of the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry's Green Scheme initiative to ensure food security, especially in the north, central and northeastern parts of the country. The farm has been battling with invasion of the worms since August last year, a situation which worsened in September and October. The worms are feeding on the leaves and also on the corns of the maize plant. If nothing is done to control the pets immediately, there will be no bumper harvest this season. We've already written off 38 days of maize and we are still trying to fight to save this 68 days. But it looks like we are losing the fight, the battle. Falun said they have been trying everything at their disposal to control the spread of the pest by spraying pesticides without any improvement. Agriculture, Water and Forestry Deputy Minister Anna Shiweda, who also visited Etunda, warned that the invasions of the pests can have devastating consequences for the agricultural sector. We have incurred uh, up to uh, half a million per 30 hectare uh, pivots and we cannot continue just uh, putting a lot of money into the soil. So we, very soon we have to take a decision. The pest is not only confined to the Etunda irrigation project alone, but has also affected some subsistence farmers in the Omusati region. Some have suspended weeding, waiting only for the rain to replant their crops again. The American bollworm outbreak has already caused serious damages to the agricultural sector in countries such as Zambia and Zimbabwe. The worms were first reported in West and Central Africa at the start of last year and have now spread to Burundi, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi and now Namibia.